Well, first of all, welcome back, team. I know it's been a long week and a long time getting here. Can you hear me? Okay, thank you. And also, I want to thank uh, everybody from the media for being here and coming out and welcoming us home. And also to all of the family members for coming out here and uh, being here, being a part of this uh, closing out effort for the deployment and, and welcoming your family members home. All of this is immensely important to us, and it's also immensely important to uh, helping the team members adjust from this deployment back over to their normal lives, and we'll all be back at work starting next week, so there'll be quite a transition this weekend. I also want to welcome the governor and introduce him, and sir, thank you very much for coming here today and being a part of this. Uh, as I said, sir, you're literally the first governor to ever be uh, familiar or engaged with this task force, so this is really huge for us. You're, you're immensely important to us. And so, uh, to everybody, I'd like to introduce Governor DeWine and, and let him start this ceremony with some opening statements. Thank you, sir. Well, to Ohio Task Force One, welcome home. Uh, we are very, very, very proud of you. When Ohio sends this task force out, we are sending our best. Uh, you do the things that the rest of us don't want to do. Uh, you do things each time, I'm sure, that is, that is different. Uh, I first saw some of you uh, during the tornadoes several years ago uh, when you were out and, and dealing, dealing with that. Uh, what you're coming back from uh, is different. Uh, it's unique. Talked to a structural engineer a moment ago, and uh, we know that this task force is made up of a lot of professionals, a lot of people who are real pros. Uh, whether it's police departments, um, many, many fire department, doctors, um, we are just ex extremely proud of you and, and what you do. Um, we were following what you were doing. The whole world was, was watching. Um, for a long period of time. And I know you were gone, I think, 15 days. And for your families, that had to mean an awful lot of long time. We had the chance to meet a few of the members of the families, some of your children. And I know that they're very, very proud of you. Uh, and we are equally proud. So Fran and I just wanted to be here today. Uh, we just wanted to be here to represent the people of the state of Ohio, uh, to tell you how proud we are. Uh, you represent us, you are the best, um, and we could not thank you more. Uh, I do have a resolution uh, which I would like to, uh, to present. I will not, I will not read it, it's, uh, it's long, <laughs> it's wrong, but it's, 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 we just, it's a token, it is a mere token of the appreciation that we have for all of you, thank you very much. So thank you, Governor, very much for this. Uh, it, I can't communicate how much this means to the team and, and your being here and the acknowledgement of us. And uh, from our point of uh, perspective, sir, I would also like to extend to you a, a T-shirt from the task force, a coin from the task force, but maybe most importantly is the patch. Those that wear this are members of this task force. So here you go, sir. Evan, thank you very much. I will. Uh... I will have this in the governor's office uh, tomorrow, and I, I appreciate it very, very much. And I got to open this up. So. You got to see both sides, but that's great. Thank you all very much. So before we move on, uh, I'm going to introduce uh, one of the two lead TFLs, uh, Adam Landis. He's going to come up here, I know for the team members, we all live this, you're well aware of all of this, but he's going to come up and give a little bit of a background on the accomplishments of this task force and the things that we did in supporting the other teams in the uh, Miami-Dade uh, fire departments and, and our work down there the last two weeks. So Adam. Thanks, Evan. 
All right, so for the team members, you've, uh, you've heard most of this. Um, we're gonna speak a lot of this the families have not heard about and the media has not heard about. Um, and first of all, thank you to the families as well as all the dignitaries that have taken time out of your day to come out and welcome the team back. So some statistics from the deployment. Ohio Task Force One was on alert for approximately 153 hours. We were deployed 158 hours after the collapse occurred. We deployed, 100, or we deployed 81 members to Florida. We drove 1,191 miles to the collapse site from right here, the Ohio Task Force One warehouse. We worked on the site for 240 hours, or 10 operational periods. And for those that don't know, an operational period was 12 hours. The day shift started at noon and worked until midnight. Then the next shift worked from midnight until noon. Once we started to work, there was an Ohio team on that pile at all times until we were demobilized. The hottest work day was July 3rd with air temperature of 97 degrees. And it was actual, felt like 104. As a team, we marked over 70 waypoints and we recovered 14 victims. We also assisted in additional victims that other teams found. The Ohio Task Force One heavy, rigging equi or heavy equipment rigging specialists on night shift rigged and flew over 150 tons of material with their heaviest one-time lift of 12,000 pounds. The team was deployed from June 30th until today, July 15th. So that was 15 days, one hour, and 30 minutes. Ohio Task Force One received many compliments from all of the agencies we worked with on this deployment. Those include Miami-Dade Fire Rescue, Miami-Dade Police Department, Florida Task Force One, Florida Task Force Two, Virginia Task Force One, New Jersey Task Force One, Indiana Task Force One, Pennsylvania Task Force One, the FEMA USAR Incident Support Team, and the Israeli Def Defense Force. What cannot be captured are the buckets of sweat, the pounds of dirt absorbed, and the amount of heart and grit that was put into this mission from the men and women of this task force. Myself and Task Force Leader Case are extremely proud of the accomplishments of Ohio Task Force One on this deployment into the tragic collapse in Surfside, uh, Florida. Thanks. Thank you, Adam, very much for the summary there. Uh, next, I would like to introduce uh, Representative Plummer. Uh, he has been here several times before, so many of you already know him. But for those who don't, Representative Plummer this past year was instrumental in securing the funding from the state of Ohio for the task force so that we can continue to maintain this building and maintain the operational capabilities of this task force. Representative Plummer. Thanks, Evan. Hey, you guys, I'll be re real brief. I know you want to get home with your families. You had a rough couple of weeks, but thank you guys for what you did, and God bless you. My new role now, I'm not, a, I'm not a sheriff anymore, so I'm not in a fight with you guys anymore, but my new role is to properly fund you guys, properly equip you guys, properly train you guys. So I got three reps here with me. Representative Scott Lips, come on up. Representative Tom Young, Representative Rodney Creech. Three of our representatives are here supporting you guys so we can get you the proper funding and training to keep you guys safe on these missions. So thank these guys for coming out as well. Hey, I told you guys two things when we, you guys kicked off. I said, you guys, I'm going to pray for you every night. I did that. I prayed for you guys every night so you'd return safely to your families. I also said you guys take care of each other. You're going to see some terrible stuff, and I heard you did. So God bless you guys. Stay strong and support each other. You guys know we all go home at night and take things to bed with us, right? It doesn't go away. Rennes Bowers is back here with us. You guys know Rennes from the Dayton Fire Department. Rennes is still in the fight with us as well. Stay in touch with each other and support each other. You know, unfortunately, suicides are up in our professions. You know, this stuff wears us down. But I'm going to tell you what, we're proud of you guys. When Ohio rolls down to Florida, we're proud of you guys, man. It's like, boom, the dudes are here. We're going to take care of business. So you guys, let us know if you need anything. Spend some quality time with your, parent, your families. Hug your kids. Kiss your wives. Thank you for what you guys did. God bless you.
Thank you very much, Representative. Um, next on the list, I'm uh, going to bring up uh, Chief Likens. Again, everybody on the task force knows him, uh, but for those who don't, he's the sponsoring agency chief of the task force, uh, makes him my boss, and it's been an honor to serve under him. So Chief Likens, please. So thank you, everybody. Uh, when you guys were deploying, I told you then how proud I was to serve the Ohio task force as a sponsoring agency chief. From all of the feedback we've received from Evan's daily briefings and from speaking to others, it is amazing the work that Ohio Task Force did while they were deployed. Uh, we aren't surprised by that, um, but it, it is true that Ohio Task Force is one of the premier task forces in the entire country. Couldn't be more proud to represent you and welcome home. So thank you very much, Chief. And then finally, to wrap this up, um, again, as the team members know, uh, eight of us on this deployment were also part of this task force's deployment to the World Trade Center in 2001. And so I'm going to bring up TFL Jack Reel, who was one of those eight people, to conclude this and uh, acknowledge those other seven individuals. Thank you, Jack. Governor, First Lady, Representatives, thank you. Governor, uh, I spent some time in your office years ago at, when you were a senator, and uh, you helped us out quite a bit, so thank you. Um, as uh, Evan mentioned, uh, I am one of the uh, eight uh, who deployed on this uh, deployment, who was a member of the team that responded to the World Trade Center incident uh, almost 20 years ago. Um, before I recognize those individuals, I just want to start off with uh, what my mentor bat said back to me, or back to me back then, when uh, I was much younger, I was a kid, I think, um, and was expected to run nighttime operations for one area of that uh, site. Uh, I've learned a lot since then, but uh, that mentor said to me when we got back here um, in Dayton, he said, this is your responsibility. It's your responsibility to share your experience externally and internally uh, with this team. And I spent the next several years um, pre making presentations to various organizations about that incident and what we did and what we tried to accomplish and, and what we did accomplish. And uh, I spent the last two weeks discussing that incident with the team that was on the ground in, in Surfside. A lot of comparisons there, a lot of uh, mental stress, a lot of emotional impact, and a lot of physical strain. And um, and the, and the outcomes aren't always what we want them to be. Uh, and we talked about that a lot and, and how we're gonna deal with that as we go forward in the future. I'm gonna ask each one of you, the 80 plus members that were on this incident, to do the same thing I did 20 years ago. Share your experience as much as possible. Let's pay this forward and spend the next 20 years earning the opportunity we had to help the, the citizens and community of Surfside. Um, that's, that's our responsibility from this point forward. Uh, if I could, I'd like the, the members of the task force who responded to 9-11, just please stand for a minute. And before I finish, I just want to take a moment to recognize uh, one of the guys who's taken care of this task force since day one, since before it was a task force. And that's Dr. Marriott. Dr. Marriott's been with us for a long time. He's been, uh, he's been through a lot of fights with me and my counterparts um, within this task force for a lot of things, funding, um, personnel, how we operate uh, with the FEMA system. Um, and he's fought for all of us and continues to do so today. Uh, we had a discussion today about some things that we're going to deal with, but um, Dr. Marriott was there with us in 9-11. He set this program up, and he continues to be a functional part of getting our medical process to where it needs to be. So, Dr. Marriott, thank you so much. Thanks for deploying with us. We really appreciate it. I think I've been longer speaking than any of the politicians, and I apologize. So I'm going to sit down. So thank you, Jack, very much for that recognition. 
So here to wrap up, uh, if we could, uh, Governor and Representative Plummer and the other representatives, uh, if you would, we would like you to sign our deployment. So the whole deployment team's going to sign it, we'll post it, and it'll be 20 years from now, guys, to look at it and tell who went on this deployment. So again, Governor, thank you very much for your attendance here today, and Representative Plummer, and to all of you gentlemen, thank you all very much for being here today. To the team members, I also want to thank you for your patience in accomplishing all of this. I know you guys want to get home, so at this point we can return to the demo process and do what we normally do. Thank you all very, very much.